Vote from the book on sourcing communities. Several companies, each with low demand power, join forces to achieve sustained savings. Sourcing communities go beyond near volume bundling arrangements. They are able to pursue complex strategies because they can share resources, for example, analysts or infrastructure with the other members of the sourcing community. This quote illustrates that the book was written in simpler times when other topics like continuity of supply were pretty much taken for granted. But I believe that this method can do more than just help companies with low demand power achieve lower cost. And this is what we will focus on in this video. Let's get started. If you think about what low demand power translates at a supplier, it is low mindshare. The key executives at the supplier don't spend a lot of time thinking about you and they don't really care about you and your needs and priorities. And this is perfectly rational and does not make them bad people. Why should they care about marginal customers that don't move the needle? So in this situation, achieving anything meaningful will be hard. Getting savings as originally intended when we first published the book back in 2008 will be hard. But it will be equally hard to achieve an improvement in other areas like continuity of supply, innovation, quality or sustainability. If you analyze the situation and conclude that there is really nothing you can do to increase your mindshare at a supplier, it is logical to join forces with others who are in a similar situation. The idea is not exactly new. Look up cooperatives in Wikipedia and you can go back as far into human history as you want and you will find examples for individuals with similar needs teaming up. Often you will find that already existing industry associations are a good platform for a sourcing community. In some cases you may have to reach out to competitors and companies in other industries facing the same dilemma to form a sourcing community. Once the sourcing community has accumulated a sufficient weight, the supplier is likely to notice and listen. And again, there's no reason to regard this in the revenge mindset. You're dealing with rational people who are taking rational decisions based on facts and priorities. So there you have it, A5 sourcing communities, a purchasing chessboard method that may help you and your priorities gain more mindshare at dominant suppliers by teaming up with other customers who are in a similar situation. Okay, I'm curious, are you part of a sourcing community? And how has it helped you achieve your priorities? Let all of us know in the comments down below. And should you have a question, I will get back to you within 24 hours. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.